Oh, hey. So we're back in Bogengate. Welcome. Who remembers this room I used to film in? Good times. So a question that I get asked a lot is, what did you do for fun in the country? What were your hobbies growing up? Did you ride sheep? Shit like that. And it's only this time round, now that I'm back here, that I realized, shit, like, what did I do for fun? Because I'm bored as fuck. Most people in the city would probably kill time by just binging Netflix or something like that. But of course, the internet here does not permit that. Do you know what's fucked though? Our internet used to be better. Like when I was in year 10 or 11 and I used to binge watch YouTube, you know, Connor Fran, her choice of Vaughn, Tyler Oakley, etc., etc. I used to be able to watch YouTube, no worries. Sure, I would, you know, use up the data limit after a while. But now, like, I can barely use Gmail. Thanks so much, National Broadband Network, for nothing. So the typical city pastimes don't really apply here, but then I thought about it and neither do like the country pastimes, you know, fishing, you know, camping and motorcycles, things like that. It doesn't really tickle my fancy. And so I actually had to have like a long hard think about it. What did I do to amuse myself as a kid? And then I realized how like fucked my childhood must seem to other people. Obviously I lived on a farm, but I didn't really engage in any of the actual farm work, but I still amused myself in amongst it, you know, like, chilling in grain, just hanging out, loving myself sick in amongst the seas and shit. A lot of my time was spent hanging out with my brother Mark and my cousin Stacy. The three of us used to literally drive everyone mental. I remember we used to spend a fair amount of time throwing rocks at each other just because they were there and we could. We also used to steal my pop's golf cart a lot and just like completely abuse it. I'm sure it's broken in so many ways now, sod about that pop. We also used to play like this ultimate hide and seek using those UHF walkie talkie things because we had all this wide open space we could literally hide anywhere. I could be sitting on top of some silo and actually be watching the person looking for me and be like Oi bitch I can see you. Go left. Go left. And then just steer them away from me. And I'm sure it comes as no surprise to a lot of people that a lot of my childhood was spent using my camera. I was constantly taking pictures and videos of just anyone and anything and then loading them onto my old computer and using that Windows Movie Maker program that came with the computer back in the day and I'll just edit together little slideshows and movies of just random shit. As I got older, I guess people became less forgiving of me constantly having a camera in their face. So that's when I had to turn the camera on myself. And here we are. So I guess that's a hobby that I've still got to this day. And it just so happens that random people on the internet enjoy that hobby. And rather than just me forcing my family and friends to watch the random shit I make. I still to this day prefer being behind the camera rather than in front of it. Um, editing is what I actually prefer doing most. And that tends to surprise people. They're like, oh wait, you don't want to be a TV presenter? And I'm like, no, I don't really want to be a puppet for a living. But I guess I'm lucky in that way because I turned my childhood hobby into a career. I'm working as a producer and editor now, so there you go. And I guess that's why I found myself making this video because I was bored as shit and I was like, what did I do for fun back in the day? Oh, that's right, make videos. Here I am still doing that. Another thing I've enjoyed doing in more recent years, it's actually a really weird one. It's like listening to talkback radio. I never do it when I'm in the city. I only do it when I'm at home for some reason because I don't know, it's just that you, you hear the funniest people call up. It's all like old people who don't even like have the internet and they actually have this segment on the station I listen to. It's like the helpline where someone will call and be like, hi, I've got some rash on my fucking ankle and they don't know what to do about it. And then 20 minutes later, someone will call into the helpline and be like, oh, that lady with the rash, you should rub this on it, blah, 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 blah. And it's just so funny to hear old people who don't have the internet, they can't Google it. So they like call a radio station, they have the patience to sit there and actually wait for an answer. I also find it kind of relaxing in a way because uh, you know all that mindfulness shit, how it's all about being in the moment, you know, relinquishing control, just accepting the present moment. I feel like when people listen to their like, I don't know, their Spotify playlist or whatever, or just the music on their phone, like they have to control the music and they're thinking about mm, what song do I want to listen to next? Do I like the song I'm listening to now? Do I want to skip it? Blah, blah, blah. So the thing I like about radio is that you kind of don't have any control over what you're listening to. So it's kind of nice to just kick back and listen to whatever the hell they play. Like I don't literally sit there and give talkback radio my full attention. I just like to have it on in the background in my room whenever I'm browsing my phone or something. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. I don't think I've explained it very well, but you know, I'm weird, whatever. We, we knew that. But I guess that makes sense in a way because anyone who knows me well could tell you that like radio is my favorite out of all the mediums as well as digital media, like making videos like I'm doing now. So 
radio and digital media were my interests as a kid and they still are to this day, so there you go. Anyway, there's a bit of insight into the weird ass childhood I had. I think any people who were also raised in the country would understand that you kind of just need to invent your own fun. In fact, anyone anyone who was raised in the country and you had a really weird childhood pastime as well, let me know in the comments because I'm curious. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and allowing me to cure my boredom for a little bit, but uh, I'll catch you in the next one.